Love can change the past. Every time you recall a memory, the memory changes a little bit. It never comes back exactly the same way. When you recall a memory that you haven't recalled for 10 years, you might find that you don't feel that way anymore. Psychologists say that when you face your fears in a dream, that the nightmare dissipates. Face it for what it actually is and look at it from the paradigm of God. And if you're walking with Christ, use that to revisit those traumas and let the forgiveness happen. It's the narrative that you've got to let go. It's not the memory. Try to see what was actually happening rather than what other people told you you should feel. When you look at the world in the same way that Christ looked at the world, it helps you process that drama differently. When you think about Jesus dying on the cross, he overcame that. And every time you think about the cross, you don't have to think about the suffering and pain. You can think about how he came back to life. It's a testimony. It is a powerful one. We have crosses that we bear. Learn how to take your experiences and turn them into a testimony similar to Jesus. There's no longer any resentment. There's no longer any kind of pain. But instead, you see it as victory. You see it as, I survived that. If Jesus can survive that, imagine what you can survive as a Christian. Lazarus came back from the dead, and he wasn't Jesus. Love works. Love will help you overcome whatever your past is. And actually, love can change the past. In the same way that Christ's love changed our past. That original sin has been wiped away. We can recall that sin, we can recall all that crap that happened in the Old Testament. But Christ changed the past when He went on the cross. He didn't just change the future. When you read the Old Testament as a Christian, that's a completely different book than when you read it as a Jew. We all do things that are very sinful, but God loves us anyway. That's a trick. And if we can just figure out that, then there's no resentment left. The only way to change the past is to revisit it and see it with the light shined on it. A genuine born again experience. This is something that is not converting to a religion particularly. But what it is, is it's an experience of seeing reality for what it actually is. Understanding and experiencing God and remembering who you really are, who you were before you were born. Remembering who you are besides the character that you play. What actually happens is when you go through this, it's almost as if you have died and seen the other side. That's what it feels like. When you have this experience, it's as if you know everything for a moment. You know past, present, and future. You know exactly why everything is the way it is. And you understand that everything has to be just the way it is. And it's exactly how your life has been intended to be. It's exactly actually what you want. And when you come back from it, if you come back, because you may not come back from it, if you come back from it, you have to remember who you were playing, the character you were playing. That is a genuine born-again experience. If you have not yet experienced this as a Christian, you need to open up your Bible. You need to take the time and pursue the real teachings of Jesus Christ because I guarantee you they will trigger this experience.